What's up guys, Zach Scott here with Ashley Scott, and we're playing Minecraft. 1.5 is now out on the, uh, on the, with the Scotland server that we mm -hmm. have right here. Just to show you what that looks like, it's going to look like everything else. There's another... There's... So if you go to the bottoms of some of the yeah. menus. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff going on, and uh, I fully expect everyone to make full use of the new 1.5 stuff. I really like these. These are so cool. Check out Adam's channel if you want to see all of the stuff that is absolutely true now uh today not a huge plan maybe play a little bat night right after this in the same video just kind of a, of a variety i'm really curious about this elevator thing that adam's been working on i don't know if he set it up to work or if it's just gonna work now i was gonna go check it out it probably doesn't just immediately work but we'll, we'll see um let's see if it does anything what is this Get in there. Oh. <laughs> Didn't wow. seem to keep going. Unless I'm supposed to keep... No, I don't know. I don't know how it works. We'll have Adam come in and fix this later. And then we'll show it off. The easiest way is to do it with command blocks like we did on the Pokinawa server. He did that for my house. Okay. One of my buildings. Command blocks. <laughs> the uh, one thing... Okay, so Ash, you wanted to show off one thing really quick over here. Well, you wanted me to. Well, you want it to. And you I'm came planning in here a and You demanded to, to do this video. <laughs> We've been uh, doing home improvements in the backyard or planning, uh, get, getting ready, getting things ready to do a lot of home improvements. So what are we looking for? Where is this? It's over in that corner. Did this thing happened. I don't know what happened here. This thing just like regenerated or something. This little yeah. area where we all camped out and told spooky stories. That's very strange. So this is our back, our simulated backyard? Yes. Okay. Did you did you copy this from the? Nope, I built this. Okay, okay. So yeah, you want like a what's this? So oh, this is the catio. Cat, the cat, the catio that we might. We're wanting to do a, an outdoor enclosure for the cat we, so they can enjoy the outdoors safely. Yeah, we, we live do. in a, a neighborhood that's um. Well, we're kind of out in the country, or we were, and we used to have a lot of coyotes around coyotes. here. Coyotes. And um. Yes. We we would see people move into our neighborhood when we first got here that would uh, bring their cats and for the longest time we never saw the same cat twice because well we were in the country and things would happen to the cats i assume yeah but anyway uh that's why our cats can't just go outside poor um, guys we don't live in a place that's safe for them to do that so anyway we want to do like a, a patio that they can go out through one of the windows and then i'm doing a, a raised bed garden but i have to keep ari out so that's what that thing is represents nice there's a there's always a copy of our house over in that neighborhood area yeah i don't are you, know where are you going what are we done i guess oh no what? sorry we're, Busy. sorry i thought we were done so what's up what else is here oh not much <laughs> just thought we could put a path around where's the hot tub go under the pergola oh, okay obviously <laughs> We should have some, a privacy fence so we can be naked. Well, in the we hot have tub. new. You could put up uh, either bamboo or wood panel to create a barrier if you if we had a hot tub back there. But mo mostly our we have neighbors behind us now, and the way that our yards are situated, we can actually see from our house from our windows into their yard, and I assume they can see into our yard. Yeah, they can. So I was wanting to make a, a pergola and uh have vines or something growing on them to block some of their their view of our house we need some sort of like sound blockers for when house guests come over and they have sex in the hot tub that See, way apparently can't... cedar is very good at absorbing sound that's why they it's good for privacy fences okay <laughs> so we'll just put some more cedar around it Okay, just some cedar chips on the ground. No, this is a <laughs> wall of cedar. I'm just kidding. Okay, so um, something about the what the molecules in the wood. So there's a lot of stuff here. Like I've never showed off this British pyramid that I would like to get. It's Ollie offensive. In. It is. <laughs> no. Oh. And then um, there's Max High School that she's working on. Scotland High, where all the drama goes down. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we got 1.5 up and running. Now I I can't okay. I want it to, I want it to do um, the Beacon World stuff tomorrow. Maybe I can still. I don't know. 
Uh, I still have three teams to film. It's really hard to get everyone online at once, and I'm not trying to be like a dick about it, you know. So I just want to, I just want to kind of go at, at everyone's leisure. I've locked down the world. You can't build there anymore. Um, I don't believe I could test that really quick. There's that pizza on top. That was a. Uh, let me just test that really pizza. quick. I'd be, I, I would feel really bad if you if we uh, could build there, but uh, I don't think we can. Nope. Uh, Diop, Zach, Scott, go over here. I, I still cannot get rid of my levels. I do not understand how to do this, how to get rid of levels. You can just fall into the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, now can I build? Nope. Good. Okay, thank God. And what's this over here? Free bones, slime balls, stone. Okay. Now I don't have... I think I, I... I do have access to the warp command, right? Warp. warp. Spawn. There we go. Now I can OP myself again. Hey, let's just recreate spawn in our backyard instead. I just got that idea. That's not a bad idea. We can get these uh, stone <clears throat> bricks, the red carpet. Some bushes. Yeah. Fireplace outside. Yeah. Basically everything but the roof. Oh, uh, roof two. Roof two. Let's just, just concrete just in the backyard and only do uh, stone, stone. no backyard, just another building attached to our house. Ashley, in the latest Time magazine, there's a uh, new pope, new pope on the cover. Look to do. He's a uh, new pope, Pope Francis, and in the magazine there are 10 big ideas, and I was gonna run them by you really quick to see what you thought about it. Okay. Here's a big idea for food, grow a burger. Positive. Positive, okay, good. Here's an idea for housing. Shrink your living space. Don't we grow burgers already? They're called cows. <laughs> Ashley, don't be so cynical. <laughs> now what's the other one? Uh, okay, an another one. We're going to hop into a Bat Night game really quick. Uh, actually, no, let's check out the build server really quick because there's a lot of really cool uh, Sam's. I thought we were checking out ideas. We are. Okay. What? What are we doing? Checking out what ideas? Big ideas. Big ideas, yes. Uh, hold on. What is it? Hold on. MV list. I want to go to the the uh, the uh, Samopolis. Samopolis. Is that spelled correctly? I don't know. Did I not? Oh, TP. It's Zach. It is me. Shh. <laughs> Look at all the cool buildings people are building here, Ashley. Awesome. I hope they use the new 1.5 materials to build some of this stuff. No one-story buildings, jerks. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, the pillars are awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. If you're wait. doing it downtown, one-story buildings aren't going to cut it. So here's the thing. Guys, no more snow. No more snow for buildings. It doesn't make sense anymore. See? Oh, okay. If, it, if they have white blocks now. You have white blocks now. That are smooth? Not. Yes, yes. So check this out. Look at that. That looks so much that better. That does look better. I'm glad for that because the white wool just is not white enough. It's kind of gray. And that that is a little bit it's off. It's kind of pinkish. Yeah. I but... like it. It's warm. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm super excited about the new building materials. That's something that I can never get enough of, new building materials. No more snow. I know. I love new building materials in Minecraft. You could just uh, world edit, select the whole building, replace snow with the quartz block. That's true. Holy crap, someone built a new freaking that pyramid. is not urban it's it, maybe it is it's like las vegas where they look he used uh he no is that iron or is that it's a space why is there space that's iron. i do not know for air ventilation stop and um and also okay so another big idea ashley in housing shrink your living space it depends on the size of your existing space the, there is uh there is there is a whole description of what that means but i'm just going to give you the titles to get your opinion on just the titles right okay government write a constitution we have one well I it's mean, not being I think used. just in general i might want to dust off the old one <laughs> the other okay big idea in tech spy on sports fans <laughs> 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 that sounds like a good idea right <laughs> This one and the previous one are related. Uh, what tech can see? Too many fans standing in a section, especially during mundane moments, may signal an obstructed view. This info can help improve architectural design. Eating. And if fans in certain sections tend to chow down more than others, stadiums can send servers over to take orders and increase profits. Mm -hmm. That seems crazy. Texting. Well, if, uh, I mean, a stadium is private property. Right. Um, 
Well, they're publicly funded oftentimes. Yeah, I was thinking about that. There are obviously public teams and public... Well, yeah, and and uh, there's a partnership between the companies and the sports teams, which but no, and, allows and, them to and not... The, go- the government gives a like, huge... Like, I mean, like, that's... Well, I know, I know that sports organizations don't pay taxes. Well, I mean, not just that. I mean, they actually are given money to build the stadiums, and they... Then they you yeah, know. and land. Right. Um. <clears throat> but anyway, so like in SimCity, like I plopped down the stadium. <laughs> mm-hmm. what is this this looks cool here's a stadium over here actually Someone well, built essentially a baseball stadium. in um you know pro- property where you um go- going there is a privilege not a right like a like going up and down a public street uh if they choose to surveil their customers there that's their business you know right but check out this stadium yeah I love it's to look at all these nice. look at all these guys. I'm spot like there just has a bunch of decapitated heads here. It's crazy. Yikes. <laughs> There's another stadium. That's like what our town hall meeting was like. <laughs> Here's another stadium over here. This it one's needs quite a, a few more heads to make that not creepy. Maybe get maybe give them a wool body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this stadium. Isn't that cool? Sucker. 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 Here's another big idea, Ashley. Mm-hmm. Design. Play, play without stereotypes. Yeah, play without stereotypes. Okay, see this whole thing. I've spent, I've actually spent a lot of time looking into the differences in little boys and little girls, like as far as uh, their mental, their actual mental differences. There have been a lot of studies about how much, how much of gender is uh, latent, or how how much of gender is nat is uh, nature versus nurture. Essentially, is is so the argument the again? Like I've said before, you can't you can't take nurture out of the equation. It would be unethical to raise a child like in a box where they just like get fed like a rat out of a slot or something like that and see how well, they develop. Well, maybe in the future, you know, when we invent teleporters, we can just teleport the food in so but, you don't have to have any interaction. Well, but toy makers that have try that have uh, tried making. Uh, like, a, like, for instance, if you give a boy and a girl a playhouse, they've found that girls will usually play. Usually, I wasn't one of these girls that played house a lot. but It's a Walmart. But most girls will play house in the house. And if you give it to boys, they'll climb all over it. They'll launch their bike off of it. They, they're much more, they play more, much rough, more roughly. There seems to be, and it makes sense because we're sexually dimorphic, meaning, um, like in, in animals, if you if an animal that is uh, an animal that wouldn't be sexually dimorphic normally would be like a cat or a dog, you can't usually look at well to to most extent, you can't just look at them and tell the difference between the sexes. Whereas birds, the females are usually drab, the males are very bright and colorful. They they are sexually dimorphic. Um, humans are. This building Pretty cool. sexually dimorphic when they're adults. You can t- usually tell from a body shape, uh, a male and a female, which indicates that males and females have uh, traditional, not traditionally, I'm not talking about culture, but uh, biologically, they've played different roles. Women have a different biological role. Men have a different biological role. So it stands to reason that their brains also are slightly different to accommodate those roles. So the whole push to raise children gender neutrally, I think, uh, I think it's a, I think it's a little paranoid. Like, uh, like just let them play how how they want to play. I'm not a fan of like putting giant bows on little infant babies' heads because they like it doesn't matter what gender the baby is. But but like trying to make boys play dress up or make them play with dolls. Or make girls uh, play with Legos or Connects or whatever. I don't even know if they have those anymore. Like oh, I yeah, was, I was more Legos. of a like. I love to play with Legos. I was always yeah. playing with the guys and getting in the dirt and whittling things. Skin servers, kind of. But weird. like, let them be who they are. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, it's it's not necessary to me to be paranoid about whether they're being, you know, too girly or too masculine. I I, I just. Right, I think that whole thing is is silly. Well, in the um, in, in, in a, it, and it's all about it's all about political correctness. I think the idea that we're all the same, we're not all the same. We're not the genders are also not you know set. This is this is what boys are like. This is what girls are like. There's differences right. across. We're all individuals. Just you know, let your kids 
play with what they want. Let them wear the colors they like. Whatever. Well, uh, yeah, I, I haven't read this article. I was going by the titles. Yeah, alone. that's what I'm doing. But uh, but uh, and there's a picture here of a kid playing with the, a boy playing with an Easy Bake Oven. But the and Easy that's Bake, great. but the Easy Bake Oven has been kind of redesigned to be gender, gender and neutral. And you also notice, yeah, like the Easy not, Bake Oven. It's not pink. It used to be like pink and like yeah, and frilly. that's see when I was growing up, there was the Easy Bake Oven, which I wasn't interested in at all. But then they had these ovens that you put like a gel substance in and you make creepy, bugs, creepy, creepy crawlers. crawlers, yeah. yeah. They had different ver- versions of it. You can make organs and stuff anyway. Is this super but chest that, mode by any chance? You know, that's, that's an example of, you know, they were obviously marketing the oven hard to girls and the creepy crawlers hard to boys. Oh, yeah. But well. there's a lot of interplay with those things. And I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, making the oven more... Uh, you know, not making it pink. I really hate how when you go to a store, like the uh, the girls' aisle, it's pink and it's all about shopping. The boys' aisles are all about, they're all blue and dark colors and they're all about successful warriors. They're all superheroes. They're all policemen oh, yeah. and uh, military people and stuff like that. Uh, that 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 does bother me that there's a lot of very strong gender oh. coding in advertising but again they are playing towards uh you know stereotypes that i mean stere- not all, this isn't true for all stereotypes but but there is a general uh you know most girls are going to want to play house and dress up and stuff like that not that boys don't don't and vice versa anyway it it does bother me when I like as even as a little girl I never liked the color pink I was uh, on some level aware that it was almost like a programming color when you go walk down the aisle it's all freaking pink and I just I hated how just because I'm a girl I'm supposed to like pink and all that shit anyway well why is it that <laughs> girls are naturally like better dishwashers kind of weird <laughs> and sandwich makers <laughs> and kidding. why why is it that boys are just so much better at going out and making the money <laughs> <coughs> and math and no, i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm kidding uh guys another big idea here uh and design- but I'm, I'm just gonna note in that picture even though the easy bake oven is gender neutral that little boy i really thought that was a little girl he he's has got long hair. long hair and curls yeah, and, and he, <coughs> has, he has breast implants, which really threw me off. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, the, uh, another big idea in design is open the floodwaters. What do you think about that? <laughs> open the floodwaters. It depends on what's other, on the other side of the, the dam. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I, I, didn't even, I, I didn't even read any part of this article. I'm just going by the, uh, by the yeah, title the alone. Title. <laughs> I think it's funny just to just go like skim, but yeah. not even know. All right, how about... In transportation, deliver a fix for traffic jams. Well, who can argue with that? Next. <laughs> well, I mean, don't you think we need to fix the traffic jams everywhere? Well, I've seen um, I've seen a concept for a bus that actually straddles the street and drives over cars. Well, we need to think. We need to think bigger than that. We so need that it doesn't. So that a bus can't slow down traffic. That would be a monster machine, though. Well, I read something like ninety percent. This is just a stat. <clears throat> who knows if it's true? Like ninety percent of all traffic jams are just caused by like stupid mistakes that people make. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, if we have self-driving cars, then those yeah. mistakes would be for the AI to make. I'm extremely <laughs> excited about self-driving cars because just think of. Uh, the elderly people and the physically disabled people, how much easier it's going to be for them to get out and about. And people younger than 16. There's no reason why like a, uh, like a 14 year old can't go out and about. Yeah, exactly. If you, I mean, all you have to do is be able to program and, uh, or not program, but be able to put in your, your destination. I would have a big, I'm sure that there are going to be laws enacted about uh, you can't send your three-year-old alone in the self-driving car to ballet practice or whatever. Yeah, maybe three is a little too young, but I mean, at least four. But like a a (laughs) 10-year-old, maybe, as long as it doesn't have like manual pilot override. Well, here's the thing. Like like a a parent safety latch or something. Okay, so what about, what about, I mean, 10-year-olds can use public transportation like buses and and subways without any parental supervision. Yeah. Like no one's going to. I mean, you heard, there were several, several years ago, this uh, executive or some, some woman uh, that's a public figure, she got a lot of flack because she let her 10-year-old take the subway in New York 
by himself. She basically had him go. She dropped him off somewhere and said, "Okay, figure out how to get home. And he made it home. People were saying that's extremely unsafe. He could have been snatched. I think those people, again, are really paranoid that uh, obviously you want to teach your kid about safety and, and, uh, you know, don't don't trust adults. Don't. uh, Well, statistically, don't go anywhere with anybody. Just, you know, if if you have if you run into a problem, go to like a, a subway worker or a police officer or someone like that. Yeah, well, statistically, you're more likely to to die in a car accident than to be snatched up as a kid. So. Oh yeah, I mean, well, there are lots of things that are way more likely to happen than being snatched as a child. It's just our 24-hour media cycle that's uh, that it makes its money off of hyping up things that uh, don't happen very often, making them sound like they're, you know, an epidemic when it happens maybe a couple times a year. Uh, it it makes people you know paranoid so uh yeah the 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 danger that that child was in was far overblown and uh, uh i don't know I, I was i was raised in a a family that was also very afraid of that kind of stuff and i grew up you know being af- afraid of going out in public because it was all stranger danger and there's a rapist around every corner and you know missing white girl syndrome well, uh, here's another big idea for you. Talk about fixing traffic jams. And that's not healthy. Healthcare. <clears throat> big idea for healthcare. Wear your doctor. Wear your doctor. Like on I'm your guessing, body. I'm guessing that means like WebMD on your phone. I don't know. I didn't read the article. Having like a, like how cars, <laughs> how they can tell you where the, when the tire pressure is too low and such, when you need your oil change. Uh, again, I have no idea. I did not read the article, but... I would not get... Sorry, I freaked out. thought I heard something. Any kind of... I don't know, biometric scanner or chip implanted in myself. It would depend. I de- it would, uh, I would, I would have to wait. Like I, I, I'd never adopt early technology. Oh yeah. Yeah. You have, you have to wait for the bugs to get ironed out and stuff like that. I mean, that's like when a new drug comes on the market, no matter how much they've tested it in a laboratory, they don't know how it's going to affect, how it's going to scale up, how a much, much larger population is going to be affected by it. And like there's their class action lawsuits all the time from drugs like uh, birth, certain birth controls or heart medications or just a- anything that you can think of. There's uh, recalls on drugs when they find out that they don't, uh, that they're actually not safe for people to take. So I, I wouldn't wear some kind of, you know, diagnosing thing in my body. If well, that's it would the just it about. would just depend on uh, if I mean if I could wear it on the outside. I mean, if it was a, if it was a new gaming system a and new watch, <laughs> if it was a new gaming system and you wanted to be the first to make the videos, I bet you would get it installed. <laughs> but no, no, I, I think I'd be very cautious about that. Yeah, anything having to do with your central nervous system, you need to be very careful about. Yeah, that should be taught in school. <laughs> but like there are already people we we have our dogs chipped um there yeah, are people who them? get their children chipped no, that sounds there's bad. a family that has that all of their family members actually are chipped with their, pretty safe i mean <laughs> there's uh one th- one thing that obviously would be good about that is you could have your medical records on your chip and if you ever went to the hospital well you they, would auto- automatically know they would automatically know that you uh, uh have you know, you react to penicillin or your history, whatever, you have a pacemaker. But people already wear, you know, bracelets that have that information. Well, and, and also they're just, all they need is your ID and they can look it up in a database somewhere. Yeah, now it's all interconnected. But uh, Unless you come from maybe a smaller town that doesn't, I don't know. Another big idea. Regulate the robots. Um, That's in law. No, I think robots should be free. I'm for robot emancipation. <laughs> and another big idea. This looks like the last one. Yep. Preach for religion. Here's an idea for religion. Preach like your life depends on it. Isn't that what they do, though? Like, that's the whole... I, well, I don't know. I didn't not like your life depends on it, but they preach like their soul depends on it. I grew up uh, in a religious family, and um, uh, evangelism was not pushed like it is in... A lot of versions of Christianity in the one that I was involved in, but it was mentioned that you know if if you are 
decent at uh I did it. I killed him. If you're decent at speaking with people and you feel the need to, you know, share the word of the Lord, um to me it seemed like people who did that got um my word for it was Jesus points. Jesus points. Uh people people who uh try to, to spread I won. The religion. I won Good that job. Game, well, that about sums up today's video. <laughs> It was fun talking to you, though, about all these ideas that I'd never really read about in detail. I just looked at the headlines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with all these, man, the Pope sure lives in a big building. But there are religions where, or there there are especially versions of Christianity, but other religions also where it's a, a basic tenet of the religion that you have to try to convert people. And, you know, that annoys people, so... Yeah, on sometimes. the whole, sometimes. I mean, it is it is successful. It must work because there, are, you know, certain religions are growing. Check out this guy. He's smoking blue cigarettes. He looks awesome. Mm-hmm. This is electronic, but he still looks just as rugged as as if he were smoking real tobacco cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And he's healthier. And he's which healthier. Is, and and that's the real tough guy there. Yeah, yeah. You know, he cares enough about his body. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Come back next time for more Minecraft. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.